Hey, Dustin, Geo here, man, with Scene Enhanced Marketing, LLC. Hope you're having a great day, buddy. Apologies for uh, the delay on this, man. It has been absolutely nuts on this end. I'm sure you can, I'm sure you can relate, right, to those times when it just gets out of control, when you're trying to balance family and, uh, and work. It's, uh, yeah, there's not enough hours in the day, man. I never used to believe people when they said that, but... After you have kids, it's it's definitely my reality. So, anyways, man, enough about me. Let's jump in. I uh, got your website pulled up here. Uh, pretty good layout. So I'm assuming I've worked with some realtors before, and it's always been tricky because their site is attached to the you know their brokerage, right? Or even sometimes their their national brokerage. So there's it's not like we can go in and do much, you know, um, but that's okay. There's other things you can do, um, to, to, I think, increase business or at least just enhance your accessibility, um, locally, which is ultimately what you're trying to do. You're not trying to sell houses in Regina. So I'm going to kind of just go over that today and it's not, not a lot of it's going to even have to do with the website, but just, just for context, three, three things, uh, the three main things that we tell our clients are the most important surrounding their, you know, digital footprint and specifically uh, their website is content, backlinking, and citations. And so, for content, Dustin, we recommend anywhere from like 1,500 to 2,000 words, man, on the homepage alone. It's crazy, right? Like, I'll show you a recent site we built. Um, you can get a feel for yourself on it. Like, just, just to show you what I mean. This is just a tech company in the States. But, like, look at this, right? Easily 1,500 words, maybe 2,000. I don't know the exact count. But uh, Google crawls these websites. And that's... That's the main reason, and they they hone in on the home page, and so we embed the content on the home pages specifically with buyer intent keyword phrases. So, for example, for you know your industry, it would be like best realtor Saskatoon or realtor Saskatoon or how to buy house Saskatoon. You get the idea, right? Relevant, volumed keyword phrases for your industry. So say we were doing it for your site, we would just have tons and tons of breakdowns of, it can be anything, right, to do with home buying, but within that word content, we're going to have volume keyword phrases that people are searching locally so that over time, Google's going to recognize that, they're going to know you're trustworthy, legitimate, they're going to start pointing customers in your direction. So I hope that makes sense surrounding content. So the next thing I wanted to talk to you about, Dustin, is backlinking. Backlink is just another website where they're another website that provides your website power and influence. So very important to remember not all backlinks are created equal. Because just like with the keywords, if you uh, you know you want it to be industry specific. So you're gonna have a much better time gaining that necessary power and influence from you know, say for, for realty for realtor Saskatoon, for example. That power and influence is going to come from backlinks such as, you know, home improvement companies, um, you know, real estate directories. Those kind of backlinks are going to give you that necessary power and influence much more than, say, the local Pizza Hut down the road or, you know, the Tim Hortons. So I hope that makes sense surrounding just the power and influence with backlinking. And I'll show you a little bit more about what I mean. I just did a generic search here for Realtor Saskatoon. I want to focus on this chick real quick, Michelle Butler. She's come up a, a few times. We'll skip over this part for now, the map pack rankings. Scroll down because I believe she's on the first page as well. Yeah, she is. So third-party tool we use to measure all types of analytics, not just backlinks, is called Arifs. And I threw your uh, handle in here, as you can see. And so not a ton going on, right? Like, obviously, you point people to your website. But organically, meaning, like, people searching for realtors in Saskatoon, not a lot of action, buddy, right? And that's okay. I mean, I'm sure you're not, uh, most of your business doesn't come from online necessarily, right? Referrals, word of mouth, whatever, 
But just to give you an idea, for, uh, from a comparison standpoint, let's plug uh, Michelle's in here because she's just got, you know, the personal domain, right? Like she either has her own brokerage or, you know, I'm not entirely sure what she's doing here. But, but regardless, we throw her uh, URL into the third party tool and look at the difference, right? She's just smashing it out of the park. Organic keywords, I want to show you that quick because, you know, we talked about it earlier with the content. Realtor Saskatoon, bang, first page. Saskatoon Realtors, bang, number one. Um, Saskatoon Realtor. You know, Realtors and Realtor are obviously two different keywords, you know, first page as well. So she's generating a ton of new business from her online footprint, and that's what uh, this third party tool confirms to us. Now, a strategy we tell our clients with the backlinking, it's pretty straightforward, man. Go after the same backlinks as your competition. You know, uh, it's obviously working for them. So we can do one together here. Jump into our referring domains. And remember I said you want it to, have, you want it to do with realty, right? With industry specific. So you scroll down. It's not going to take long to find one, you know, uh, propertyspark.com. Click on this, obviously has something to do with real estate or properties. And how it works is this Michelle girl has embedded or you know her web development people have embedded her website address, her URL, somewhere within this website. And so over time, Google's seen that as well, right? And they're recognizing that this site is providing that necessary power and influence back to her website, and she's ranking accordingly. And that is a dumbed down explanation of how backlinking works. So next thing I want to talk to you about, man, is citations. Citations are just directories online where a company can list their information. So business name, phone number, uh, web address, that type of stuff, right? And as backlinks were specific to the organic rankings, which commence here, citations are specific to to these babies right here, the local Google My Business map pack rankings. Vital to be in here, right? And our Michelle girl is is here um, as well, right? 112 reviews. So citations are absolutely vital, just like being in this top three is vital. And believe it or not, it's the same strategy as the backlinking. We tell our clients go after the exact same citations as the competition and then develop a space cushion. So that over time, you're just going to, you know, nicely merge into this top three here. They're not going to be able to realize it. Or by the time they do, you're just going to be continually adding on dozens and dozens more of citations and ideally taking on all that new online business. And I forgot to mention citations are places, you know, like white pages, yellow pages, Facebook, Yelp, just to name a few, literally tens, probably hundreds of thousands of them uh, online, just in Canada alone. So... I hope that makes sense, man. Obviously, reviews are important as well uh, to get in here, but uh, citations are kind of the name of the game, believe it or not, to uh, get into this top three. And if you're like me, I don't typically scroll past these top three, right? Why would I? Especially if I'm, if I'm on my phone searching for a service. Boom, it's all right there for me, right? Reviews, location, linkage to website, directions. And so I pulled yours up, man, or it came up just from an EXP uh, Realty Saskatoon search, you know, you're third down, so not bad. What I would recommend, bro, is starting to pump the heck out of these, right? Anytime you deal with someone, whether, you know, you help them close on a home or just, you know, show them some houses, hey, could you leave me a review, please? Hey, could you go on Google? Here's a link. Can you go to my GMB and leave me a review, please? GMB is Google My Business Profile that I'm assuming you created, right? Because you want to get those reviews up. Uh, you want people to see that you're more than capable and also along with citations it helps you uh, rank in that top three for just generic volume searches uh, surrounding real estate in Saskatoon. And then just real quick buddy before we get off I wanted to just touch on your social media. I don't think you have a business page. I didn't I didn't see one. I searched it and that's okay. I just I run my business through my personal as well but um, you know, some good stuff here, man. I would just say be more consistent with it. You probably already know this. Like two, three, four posts a week 
get it out there. It doesn't even have to be surrounding real estate, but you just want your followers to know uh, who you are, not just from a business standpoint, but a personal standpoint, right? Um, that's that's what's up. So, um, yeah, dude, get active on your social media because it goes a long way. Everyone literally has Facebook, right? 4.3 billion people worldwide. Uh, I run my whole business through it. Uh, it's it's just the best platform going. Um, so that's that would be my recommendations, buddy. I hope that helped. Uh, you know, probably not a lot a person could do with a website. This is 100% free information, by the way, though. You can use this however you want. If you do have extra time, you could probably mess around and do some of these things. Uh, but if you're like me and don't have a lot of extra time, uh, you can call me because uh, this is what I do for a living then. Um, I help business owners uh, grow their business and do a lot of the stuff that they just do not have time to do. So, uh, like I said, man, free information. This video is yours to keep. But uh, if you'd like some additional help and uh, or if you have any questions or concerns surrounding this, man, if you have my information, please don't hesitate to reach out. And, uh, yeah, it's been good to hear from you, Dustin. Thanks for taking the time today, man, and hope to hear from you soon. Take care.